Hello guys, uh, welcome to another Profile Tree Wix tutorial. Uh, today I'm just going to give you a rundown on how to change your little menu section just above here on the header and also how to change the menu section on the mobile device. So yes, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, I've got a site here set up, I've just named it PT Arts. Um, We'll go ahead and get started on it. Um, so here we go. We've got our little menu bar here. So that's for all our pages, pages and menu, as you can see. So that's pretty important to get around the website. And uh, you can pretty much uh, change the layout with this. So you can manage menu. Um, you can adjust it about, as you can see. There's little areas you can adjust, but we'll keep it at that. You can add pages as well and it'll show up in the header. If you decide you don't want it to show up in the header, you can hide it. Just clicking on that little button there. The three little dots and you can hide or show it. And another thing as well. So if you click on this, we can stretch it so we can have it so it's the full width. So that'll be from edge to edge. And from that, you can change its color, change its design. So yeah, we'll, we'll actually go ahead and do a bit of designing on the header. So here we go. We've got a couple of different menu designs. So we've got the little bold one there, uh, sort of like a boxy look, more of a minimalistic look, uh, that sort of circled look. Um, there you are. So yeah, there's a couple of default ones there that they provide. Um, I actually like the look of this one. And I like the look of that one, but we'll just keep it simple. We'll go ahead and stick with this one. Um, so then you can also customize the design. So you can fill in the background color if you really wanted to. For the sub menus. So that'll be like, um, I'll show that in a minute there, but it'll be like, if you hover over this, you'll get a sub menu. But we'll just keep it white. Then when you can click it, as you can see, it's that sort of color there. You can change it to go black, blue if you wanted, just other different colors there, but we'll just keep it the same. Then you've got your little hover text as well. You can change it to that color, as you can see, but we'll just leave it the same color it is. And then from here, you can also change the font if you wanted to. So. That's the sort of font I'll go for. Give it a more modern look, more minimalistic look. You can also change the font sizing if you want to. So if you want to enlarge it, if, you're, if you want to decrease the size, you can make a bold, italics if you want to. And you can add some spacings uh, depending if you have a lower sort of area, which I do not. Uh, you can decide if you want to shadow it a little bit and board up the corners. I'll actually show that little area there. If you were to have like a, a sort of background design, uh, background design on the thing, as I said earlier on, like this, um, you can fill out the border. So as, as you can see, its corners are 80 px. You can change that down to 20. So that'll sort of lessen the corners up a little bit. Or you can have it at zero, which it'll be like a square box, as you can see there. Um, you can decide to change the color if you want to, just around this. But for now, we're just going to leave it to where we had it. And it's with that. And you can also add some animations, just depending if you would like to add some animation. Just it's personal preference, really. So there's a couple of options there. You can also customize them if you really wanted to. So you can have it for that amount of duration. You can have it coming from other areas and you can play it from here as well, just so you could sort of see what it would look like. There you are. 
And yep, so that's pretty much the desktop version, um, more or less talked about. Uh, so we'll move on to the mobile. It will be a little bit different, as you can see, uh, straight off the bat. It gives you this little icon for your menu section. So obviously it's it's not the best looking at the minute, um, so we can't improve on that. So just with a couple of adjustments. Just a quick one there. And just lessen that header size. So yeah, uh, once you click on this little area, you can manage the menu, uh, as previously said. You can also navigate through uh, or click on the settings and you can freeze that menu so it just stays there. Um, you can change your little designs as well so you can have it as a round. As you can see there's different colors there. Customize your design. So, okay. Um, so we'll leave it at that one. And let's see, yeah. So if you are click on a design, you just hit customize design. You can change the text as well, as you can see. We'll go for that sort of that quest rail look, more of a minimalistic look. And then you can also change the page color if you want to do. It's for the background. For the text as you can see so there's my select page it'll be at that more of a bold color and then the ones that aren't linked onto it it's more of a faded color uh, you can decide how you want it aligned and you can also have your spacing as you can see That's as far as it goes, sorry, three. Um, you also have it different colors and you can also have it opened up like this or like that, or you can just have the full area open. So it's personal preference really. And then that's what it would look like closed and open. So basically you get like a little preview of what it would look like, but I might have it just like this. So yeah, um, once you're all finished up, last thing to do is just to click on preview. And as you can see, got a fully functional area there. And if we click on the desktop version, our changes should be saved. And yeah, there you go. It did that little animation, but yeah. So yes, if you guys have any questions at all, just leave them down below. And yeah, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.